going on guys welcome back to the channel and for this video i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the 3.7 updates newest uniform because these three new uniforms that we got were a big part of this update it was a very small update and a very controversial one for me anyways so let's go ahead and take a look at these uniforms we're going to start with punisher since he is the premium uniform from this update costing more than normal costing the same amount as uniforms like loki's thor's hoaks and even wolverines okay so we can't compare him to the regular 750 uniforms we have to compare him to his fellow premium uniform characters and we already know that thor's uniform is great hulk's uniform is fantastic and so is loki's so by those same standards if you're paying the same cost you should be expecting to get the same result from your punisher or something pretty pretty close however i have to say with absolute honesty that i am very disappointed with punisher's uniform he gets six skill changes even his passive gets reworked slightly however if you're someone like me and you already had the previous uniform that had two very reliable iframes the five skill was kind of wonky where you could get canceled out of it but if you had the skill and you knew how to like maneuver around it you could get the job done with him and stuff like abx scoring over 200k with this uniform if you have him decked out you could beat world bosses and you could clear shadowland floors so with this uniform you have three iframes however with this uniform you're trading iframes literally three iframes for one iframe and a guard that is what you're trading for and cooler animations so let's go ahead and take a look at this uniform just to give you guys an idea of what i mean first and foremost three of this guy's skills root him and you guys already know if a character skill roots them in place that is a very very bad thing when it comes to stuff like world boss and alliance battle because media is going to fall in your head the frost beast is going to jump you that kind of stuff so take a look at the one skill there's a slight animation there where he's rooted while he's charging up that beam that kind of looks like another beam looks like a ball kind of like a lightning ball reminiscent of lincoln this one right here he's firing out these three beams and he's slightly rooted in place not a fan and this one right here that has a guard on it as you guys can see he's standing in place this guard is eight hits for four seconds it's not a premium guard and there is a wind up there where he can be guard broken so i'm not a fan of these three skill changes which that is more than half of his kit right there do not like that okay five skill very 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 amazing skill it looks like he's gonna deal a ton of damage especially since he has a higher stat cap than most of the other uniforms currently in the game i love the animation but to be honest this skill needed to have a few seconds of invincibility on it or it needed to be an iframe because this is gonna get guard broken when he's flying in the face of a war boss or a frost beast and you guys can see for yourself if he's in the air generally when netmarble makes new characters these days if a character is in the air for a slight second they'll give them a slight iframe he didn't get that treatment and for a character that is a premium uniform character costing over a thousand crystals i expected that from the punisher especially since this is his fourth uniform not a fan the only iframe in this guy's kit is the four skill i really like it the four and the five look very very cool however for a punisher to be getting this right now as his fourth uniform i am disappointed if war machine was getting this uniform i would be inclined to buy it because it's taking um war machine from a place where he's completely unusable and this would make him usable however my punisher is already a usable character for me in war boss shadowland and even abx to be honest with you guys so for me to be forking out a thousand crystals right now in this state of the game for this i cannot justify it but for some of you guys who are diehard punisher fans maybe this is good enough for you for me it's not unfortunately i may still pick it up just to show you guys that i'm not just talking out my ass but you guys can see for yourself like him being rooted for three of his skills is a really really bad thing in my personal opinion so that just dings him right there and to be honest makes it so that he's definitely not going to be the must buy uniform from this update so yeah that's my thoughts on punisher's uniform let's take a look at falcon's new uniform 
Another one that I was looking forward to, I even started building up my Falcon because I wanted him to finally be usable. Right into it guys, five skill. To be honest with you guys, I am very, very disappointed and you guys will see why in a second right here. You see those slight gaps where the X is like kind of like fading out? Those still exist in this guy's five skill and that is very, very annoying those gaps in the iframe that they could have easily removed and no one would have complained about it because that was the thing that made it so falcon was very very risky in shadowland and it looks like that is still going to be the case i am very very disappointed with that i do in fact love the new four skill however it looks very very cool i absolutely love it and I am on the fence in terms of whether or not I'm going to buy it. You also get some CC as you guys can see right here. So I'm liking this uniform. He has four iframes in his kit now. But to be honest with you guys, mm, I'm still not like saying like this is a must buy uniform for me. It may be for some of you guys because of all the iframes that he has in the kit. And his uniform bonus, like you guys can see for yourself, his uniform bonus is crap so i i just i just like really these were a really big part of this update so i expected more out of this like sure he gets some cc which is definitely a big deal because that's gonna make him a little bit safer to play but apart from that he really could have changed a little bit more and no one would have complained because falcon is one of the characters that are currently at the bottom i shouldn't really hate on you guys too much simply because it's better than what hawkeye is getting so i guess that's not too bad i'm still strongly debating whether or not i should pick this up and even play with falcon because 750 crystals i don't necessarily think that's a waste because four iframes in the kit with a bind is definitely good enough for a shadowland solo maybe even some war boss kills okay so that's my thoughts on falcon definitely not one you need to be in a rush to buy sadly this is probably gonna be his last uniform for a while i don't see them touching him for infinity wars if they touched him here hopefully i'm wrong but we'll just have to wait and see marvel legacy very very sad so far with the two uniforms that they presented us as a big part of this update now my girl satana mm, 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 girl you fan so satana guys four skill changes and her skills are actually so freaking amazing so amazing and on top of that the cost of the uniform is 750 this should have been the premium uniform from this update i'm happy it's not because that means i don't have to spend as much crystals why this new five skill that is truly amazing the animation is perversed to be honest with you guys it is is very perverse and i feel like this is one of the ways they're gonna market this uniform and i don't have a problem with it <laughs> i don't have a problem with it it also comes with some more cc than it did before actually i don't believe yeah this one didn't have cc but yeah, actually yeah it did it did it did have some cc before very very happy with the animation it looks like it does a ton of damage the aoe is definitely there it also gives you a guard as you guys can see and one thing i'm not liking about satana's kit is this four skill now this four skill where she's flying off the map it is not an iframe it did get changed but it's not an iframe and that's what i don't understand when characters genuinely fly off the map netmarble is very very inclined to give them iframes but here for some reason they decided not to give satana an iframe even though she's gone off the map for long periods of time so that's very unfortunate because she can get taken out of this skill which is very very sad i love the animation on it though she just looks like a boss so what you want to do whenever you're using her is make sure you open with the five mm, mm, mm. then you use that go into the four and after that you can use the three which now guys the three stays the same the one stays the same but the two skill which was an iframe before is now a slightly longer iframe that comes with a heal yeah it is a huge freaking heal and that is great five percent i believe you get that ticks for twice 
and on top of that her four star passive got scaled up significantly so definitely looking forward to playing with satana she's definitely the must buy mm, 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 uniform from this update in my personal opinion i want to know which uniforms you guys picked up because i'm about to pick up satana right now because I gotta get some action, baby. I gotta get some action. <laughs> All right. So this video just went downhill. <laughs> But yeah, guys, that's all I have to really say about this one. I'm gonna let Satana do all the talking because, yeah, she's she's looking real, real fine. And this uniform is definitely worth the crystal, guys. 750 crystals for a uniform that comes with amazing CC. Satana already had amazing damage, so this is definitely gonna make her a candidate for something like Extreme AB on the Universal Day. Maybe even better than Hellstorm because of the fact that she now has a guard and she has more healing than she ever did before. I'm just kind of sad that they didn't give her an iframe on this skill right here that looks like it should just be an iframe because right there at the very end where she's sitting like in the invisible chair kind of like a boss that is reminiscent of someone like Mysterio sitting in his chair and that is an iframe. So why this is not an iframe is not really... Like, I, I can't really tell why they wouldn't make that an iframe, but whatever. That's all for this one, guys. Like always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Satana, baby. I gotta say, I'm impressed, Netmarble. <laughs> I'm impressed, but then again, <laughs> I'm easily impressed. But that's it for this one. Peace.